Hello students, welcome back. Um, now we are going to understand a process which is, uh, which is called as quasi-static process. Quasi is almost, static is stationary. You know this, right? I know what is this almost stationary thing, right? Almost stationary, that means uh, it's, uh, it's a process so there has to be movement, you would agree with me. Uh, if there is a physical object associated with, there has to be movement, the properties has to be has to change, uh, but then it has to be almost static. Let's understand what we mean by that. Uh, imagine that uh, there is a, so you want, um, okay, I'll just, what I'm doing is I'm turning the regular piston upside down. Uh, so I am saying that this is a cylinder, in which, so, this is the piston, okay, and on this, uh, okay, this is the piston, and let's say that uh, uh, this is the system, that means some working substance inside this, and it is under equilibrium, okay, so you know what is equilibrium, that means the properties are not changing. Um, they are constant. There is no spontaneous change. There is no spontaneous change in properties. Okay, so the system is under equilibrium, which means chemical equilibrium, mechanical equilibrium, and thermal equilibrium. Fine. So it has got so uh, a single value of pressure, a single value of temperature, volume, etc. is representing this system. Uh, please uh, go back to my previous video if you are not clear. Okay. Now I want this is a piston. Okay. So I want to uh, now this is under equilibrium. Uh, so uh, the the piston has got certain weight, right? So the weight is suddenly acting downwards. So let's say this is the weight is acting downwards. I say it is W. W is the weight. And now I want to want you to imagine that this piston is uh, is split into uh, infinite slices, like slice of bread. But it is infinite. That means uh, can I choose a different color? Hopefully you will. So this is, okay, so the piston is split into infinite um, slices and you can imagine that it means the weight of each slice, weight of each slice uh, would be infinitesimal, very, very small, right, nearly zero, but not zero, it's just next to zero, it's just very small, okay, tending to zero. Okay, now the system is under equilibrium, which means that there is mechanical equilibrium also. It means the force acting downward and the force acting upward are balancing upward across the piston, right? Otherwise, the piston would have moved, that, otherwise, the system would have expanded. That's not happening, or uh, this, there would have been compression, but that's also not happening. So, uh, there is an upward force which is which will be equal to pressure into the cross sectional area of the piston. I hope you would agree. So, imagine now that you remove one slice from this piston so what is going to happen when you remove one slice from this piston um, there is going to be imbal imbalance force upward but the magnitude of that imbalance force is going to be infinite infinitely small in very very small right it's going to be infinitesimal it's going to be infinitesimal because we have split the piston into infinite slices. Okay, so wait. So you're, so what happens is because of this, there is going to be now some unbalanced force acting upward, but its value will be extremely small, nearly zero, just next to zero. Okay, and the piston will be pushed up. Okay, so let's before we do that, let's say that we have. I hope this is. You can see this. Uh, we are plotting this, right? We are plotting this movement, and um, these are two properties. Let's say, for the sake of convenience, we could have chosen other properties, but let's say it's pressure and volume. Okay. So we have the uh, it has got so volume is increasing, and um, if the expansion takes place, let's say initial equilibrium state is this is equilibrium state. Now what is going to happen uh, when you remove one slice? The piston is going to move, and the actuation of that 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 is caused by infinitesimal unbalanced force, right? When it moves, again, the volume is going to increase. It's going to increase by infinitesimal amount, right? 
and the pressure will drop again because the volume has increased so the force upward force also drops right that also drops by infinitesimal amount and the system has reached new equilibrium state right the system has reached new equilibrium state so you plot the new equilibrium state okay so keep on removing slice one after the another right one after another what happens every time the unbalanced force is infinitesimal right and uh, uh, the 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 process right the speed at which it is going to be moving it is going to be extremely slow that means it will be infin infinitesimal right the speed will be infinitesimal so the process will be represented like this right now and each point on this process line each point on this process represents an equilibrium state so the entire process has occurred in such a way that they, it has passed through equilibrium state right equilibrium state at no point uh, there was inequilibrium why because every time the force which has caused this process is infinitesimally small right or infinitesimally small either way infinitesimally small so that is and it's this process is called as quasi static or quasi static process right this is almost stationary it's a process but almost stationary you can see the tension in these words right almost a contradiction but now you know if you ask me uh, you know uh, uh, do the process in reality take place like this the answer is no no process would take place like this because in nature every process is caused by finite inequilibrium force finite inequilibrium force then you would wonder why we imagine such kind of thing why would imagine splitting of piston in, into infinite slices and all that and why such kind of uh, process is imagined and uh, which is not real but i told you that uh, thermodynamics is an abstract subject uh, we, we want to uh, we are entering into uh, so this is very very logical right this is a way all steps are logical but they are not real in the sense this process is not real but it doesn't mean it is it is fantasy fantasy means just you know a fantasy means you can you, it's a free play of mind you it can you don't follow any logic here we are logical but we enter into the area which is uh, which is not really real but this kind of exercise is useful because with such kind of abstract thinking um, we would end up uh, finding out what are the ideal processes for converting heat into work or any other process what are the ideal and we would try to approach that we may not succeed in uh, approaching uh, be achieving that obviously because here you know that it's not impo it's not impo it's not possible in nature all the processes occur uh, by finite inequilibrium force but nevertheless that approach that attempt to move towards ideal process would build up uh, technologies uh, which have of higher efficiency right and this is what is thermodynamics and so the significance of this and this is going to be very very interesting as we uh, move ahead why we imagine such kind of uh, process so remember what we have understood today this is quasi static process okay thank you